Yes. Oh, we lit. We official. I ain't gonna lie, Android might be better than an iPhone after that. Oh, pizza. wow. <laughs> Android might be better than an iPhone. <laughs> You mean you want to see the story be behind why you don't have an iPhone? Because I heard it. I um, heard it. Um, the reason I don't have an Apple product or an iPhone is because in the Bible, what was the one thing that they ate that changed the world? An apple. An apple. And that's why I never used an Apple phone in my life. So you think oh, yeah. Steve Jobs back in what, 2011? When Apple, when Apple came out? 2010, I think. 2008, I'm pretty sure. You think he was thinking like, I'm going to choose an Apple to be an iPhone? I mean, that's what I believe that, and if you lose your Apple phone, how, how distressed are you? If distressed? You, if you, I done broke my phone. He was with me when I broke it. Yeah. I was going through it. How is it when you lose your phone like the world is, right? Everything in the world is in that phone. Yeah. Your secrets, things, text messages, all types of things that people don't want to see. And the Apple is what changed the world, and the Apple is what could probably change your life. That's why I don't mess with Apple, I've been messing with Samsung. Oh. Uh -huh. Shout out to the pets in the building, you know what I mean? Sponsored by them. At JDJ Auto Body. <laughs> At Tash Boy Seasons, what's your Instagram? At King of Belly. You know At King of Belly. Now, what the hell make you want to be a YouTuber? What makes you want to be a YouTuber? The most famous question, the most famous in, the question in the world. What made me want to be a YouTuber? Yeah. I might want to keep it down there because y'all don't got a good time, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what made me want to become a YouTuber, like I said, went off to college. Mm -hmm. And when I went off to college to play collegiate sports, I wanted to make a name for myself. Even though I was a football player from New York, I already had swag. Mm -hmm. I already had motion. I'm the city boy, only city boy. Everybody from down south, Atlanta, feel me, Georgia, Florida, and et cetera, and Cali even. And, um, I was just the New York City kid. People asked me, yo, ask me if I knew drill rappers, ask me what I know about a chopped cheese, how I say bacon, egg, and cheese, say what are your mother, a whole bunch of stereotypes. And um, I already had a buzz around my name. Fans in New York. Yeah, fans in New York. Some kids never even been to New York. So they asked me like all types of things, how's Times Square? They think, they thought Times Square is where everybody lives. Like they thought, they like, wouldn't, that's what they thought when I heard when they heard it. I'm like, nah, it's Burroughs, I'm from Queens, but that's about like a 15 minute train ride for me, you know? And they just asked me like, wait, the Times Square? So, you know, later on, I ended up, I think it's like my third day in camp, our coaches had asked us to sit with our position groups what because you went to? Catholic University in Washington, D.C. Feel me? And um, Shout I was there. Sports, football, played football, linebacker, mm -hmm. and they had uh, you Bench know the huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> and they had um, they had told us like they want us to sit with like our position group. Mm -hmm. So I was like, damn, because you know when I first got there, I was cool with everybody I got recruited with because we had like a, a recruitment chat and whoever committed, we had like a big chat full of uh, commits. And we was just talking in the chat, you know, vibing. So I fake knew a few of them. Me and my roommate at the time, I didn't have a roommate. And uh, he actually, he dormed a course for me. And we ended up asking if we could become roommates. Because I have my own room. And I ain't gonna lie. Pause, it was a little lonely in that room. <laughs> like at nighttime, it was mad quiet. And I said, damn, I need somebody to talk to. Like, you know, somebody to mess around. Because I had some teammates that had roommates. And they room looked mad lit. <laughs> feel me? So we ended up. You know, be cool, cool and whatnot. Shout out to my guy Lawson, film the boy from Philly. And um, later on in the story, feel me, we sit with our position group one day, and this is like the third day of training camp, and you know, I spark a conversation. We start talking, and now we go from talking to I got the whole table crying in tears. What's crying in tears mean? Crying historically. They can't hold like. It's true laughter. There's nothing fake about when you when the tears coming out of your eye for a laugh. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing fake about it. It's like real, right? Like I really got somebody crying. I had them choking on me for like it's crying. You enjoy making people laugh. Yeah, I enjoy making people's day. Uh, if I could do something that could change your day positively, that's why I'm here. For me, that's why you're here. Positive energy, positive results. That's the brand. And you know. I was just like, you know, I liked it. So then we ended up going to practice, and then I got to practice, and we couldn't really talk. Our coaches was really strict. We had like a coach on the sideline that would like monitor. His job was literally monitor, monitor the sideline. So like practice it straight. Like we had music, but you couldn't have no like, 
you got to lock in. We, we trying to get a championship. Yeah. Feel me? You ain't here on a hundred thousand dollars scholarship for nothing. Mm -hmm. You here? You working? Mm -hmm. So we there and we just chopping it up. And then dinner come. I go to dinner. I get my food. And they're like, Yo, KJ, pull up. And now I look. It's my position group, the linebackers. And now I see like a whole bunch of D linemen and offensive linemen there. I'm like. Okay. So I pull up, you know, and what I mean by KJ, my nickname is King Julian in uh, college. And the reason I got the name King Julian, I don't know if you ever watched Madagascar, but you know the King Julian, the little the, the monkey. So I got that name because of my eyes. So they started calling me KJ, King Julian, and then um, same thing, repeat it, have everybody rolling. How y'all meet? Oh, how we met? We met. I, oh, how we met? <laughs> That is the, the most legendary story ever, how we met. Me and my boy King Avelli met. We played football together. We played at the same high school. He transferred a few months before me. Yeah. I probably transferred like four or five months after you. Nah, I came a year. You came in sophomore year. Wait, you came in at the beginning of freshman year? Like March the 9th. Yeah. I remember my March? Right? Oh. March 5th. Yeah. That's like second semester. No. First year. Yeah. March. March. came with the head. You came in I came, I, I came, no, I came in freshman at the end Oh, of you freshman. just practicing Yeah, I, I literally summer. remember, I, the last year of my freshman year, I transferred into King, literally. But the last day, I, my mom, she was delivering mail. Shout out to mom, Dukes. I did her whole route work, because the last day of school, you know, you got out there. Yeah. I did my whole route work. After her route, she drove me to Christ the King. She had put the deposit down, and I was enrolled. And then I started going about you and whatnot. So how we met, we played on the same football team. We was already a little cool. Like school already started, yeah. we did summer training and everything. We was like cool, like we knew of each other. Yeah. We had, like, we was yeah, cool, like, yo, what's up, gang? 